you've been staring out the window for hours. Huh. Have I? Towie's right. You seem so starry-eyed. What's on your mind? Well, I've been thinking about space a lot. Really? What's so interesting about space? It's just so mysterious. I can't see anything but stars. But there's so much more to know. I wonder what it would be like to be in space. Welcome to Stories for Kids by Lingo Kids, where we discover fascinating facts about the world around us and the fun of play learning. Join us as we learn about a day in space. Does gravity work the same way? How does it affect everyday things like sleep or drinking juice? Let's go on a space journey in today's episode. Wow, Lisa, you really do seem interested in space lately. Yeah, it's just so different. <sighs> Imagine what it's like to be an astronaut living in space. Whoa, there are people that live in space? Yeah, astronauts spend a lot of months living on the ISS, the International Space Station. Oh, oh, why don't we pretend to be astronauts in space? Great idea, Elliot. Let's go to the International Space Station. Okay, everyone, we're here. Lisa, why are we moving so slowly like that? Because of gravity. Well, more like a lack of gravity. What's gravity? Gravity is a force of attraction. Really big objects have a lot of gravity, like Earth. It's what makes us stay on the ground rather than floating up to the sky. So when we throw a ball up in the air and it falls back down, it's because of gravity? Exactly. In space, far from Earth, there is no gravity. So astronauts in the space station float because there's no gravity? Well, actually, the International Space Station is close enough to feel Earth's gravity. But it feels as if there's no gravity because the station is moving so fast. The station is constantly speeding around the Earth. Round and round it goes. And this makes it seem like there's no gravity. That's right. That sounds fun. And scary. And it also creates a lot of challenges. What do you mean? Well, try drinking this pretend cup of juice. What do you think is going to happen when you try to drink it? Hmm. Well, it will taste yummy, of course. I think that the juice is going to float away. <laughs> Billy says that the juice will also form into a liquid ball. But why? Yes, Billy, that's a great point. In space, water and other liquids flow in spheres or round blobs like small balls. Because there's no gravity? Exactly. Oh, don't let it float away. What is it, Billy? Billy is telling us to look at the amazing view outside. Wow! Earth looks beautiful at night. Oh, look. Now the sun is rising over Earth again. It's morning again. That was quick. Yeah, astronauts see 16 sunrises and sunsets every day. That's a lot of good mornings and good nights. But why? Well, look outside the space station and notice how it looks like the sun is moving fast. But it's actually us on the station that are moving really fast. The station goes around the Earth every 90 minutes traveling at about 17,500 miles per hour. Wow! That sounds really fast. It's very fast indeed. <laughs> Billy is asking if it's true that astronauts age more slowly than other people. Huh? Why would they age more slowly? Isn't time the same for everyone? You would think so. If we start two stopwatches at the same time and count for a whole minute, they should stop at the same time, right? Yeah. yeah, of course. But the truth is that time can move more slowly depending on how fast you're going or how much gravity is near you. 
So time is different for someone in space? Yes. In places with low or no gravity, time passes more quickly. So a minute would be shorter for someone in space than for someone on Earth. Wait, since there's less gravity in space, wouldn't astronauts age faster, not slower? Good observation, Lisa. But it's not just gravity that affects time. Remember how I mentioned that it can also depend on how fast you're going? Yeah! Well, for someone that's going really fast, time passes more slowly. It's a similar effect as having a lot of gravity. So time passes more slowly for astronauts because the space station is going super fast? That's right. That's why they age more slowly. But it's such a tiny difference, only a few milliseconds. It's still cool to think about though, right? Yeah, space is stranger than I thought. It definitely takes some getting used to in every way. It sounds fun, but I didn't know space could be so challenging. There's so much to know. And we're just beginning to scratch the surface. Do you think we can visit space one day? Yeah, I want to float among the stars and drink juice balls. Who knows? The future is full of possibilities. For now, we can dream and learn. Well, Lingo Kids listeners, we learned all about space today. We pretended to be astronauts living on the International Space Station, and we got to experience what daily life in space is like. We hope you'll keep learning about space. There's so much to know. And don't forget to join us next episode to continue play learning together. More songs, activities, and podcasts on our YouTube channels. That was fun!